Hello, today we're going to take a look at how a brand new Oregon State University eCampus student will log into the Canvas Learning Management System platform to access your courses. The very first step is to get to the OSU Canvas page. You can Google OregonState.Instructure.com or search in the toolbar Oregon State Instructure. You'll click on the very first option. And it will ask you to log in with your ONID and your password that you've already created. I'm already logged in, so this is what a sample dashboard would look like. You'll see here that the courses that you're registered in are appearing um, as the first thing you see when you log into your dashboard. And you can modify this as well as you get further into your program and you may want to remove courses that you've already completed. And I can show you how to do that. You'll notice over here on the right side, any assignments that have been listed as to-dos for the week are showing up, and it's also telling me what's upcoming. Um, if I had feedback from my grades, it would show up right here. And then, like I said, anything coming up will be listed here, and also links to the calendar tool that we will go into as well. So first, let's take a look at how to set up our account preferences. You'll go over here to the very first icon in the toolbar and click Account. You'll be able to edit this and add your picture and your information by going into Profile. So you can add a biography here and tell other students what it is you're studying and a little bit about you. To update this, you'll click on the Edit Profile button right here. You can also link files, update your settings, the ePortfolio is a way for you to include papers or different projects that you've done over the course of your time as a student to show what you've learned and what you've been working on. And that's a great tool um, as you prepare for graduation or start looking at employment as well. Your My Media will be anything that you've uploaded in here that you want to post as a photo or a video. Um, and you can also do a screen capture as well by clicking on Recording Tools Capture Space. So this is how you upload media into Canvas. So that's your account. And now let's take a look at the calendar. So that's the fourth icon down here on the toolbar on the left. When we click on Calendar, you'll be able to see that the academic calendar is included when the quarter begins, when it's the last day to drop a class or withdraw, and also shows when upcoming registration is occurring. In addition to that, your courses will have any linked assignments listed. These are crossed out because they are past, and then the upcoming assignments are listed down here. So you'll be able to see everything that's been included in Canvas for all of your courses in one place. You can also add an item by clicking on the plus sign here, create a schedule, um, and an agenda. And there's also a link to the calendar feed if you want to have this sent over to another calendar that you already use, like Outlook or your Apple iCalendar as well. So this is a great tool that a lot of students use for time management and to see everything they have to do in one place. Next up, um, the inbox right over here below the calendar will be where you can receive emails from within Canvas, either from your instructor or for fellow classmates. Um, at OSU, your instructor will generally email you to your ONID email account, which is outside of Canvas. So this inbox is a great place to email your fellow classmates or ask questions about assignments as well. Over here in the courses area, you will be able to see a list of all of the classes that you have. So we're going to take a look at the first term success course um, and for this group, we're going to be looking at the spring quarter, and you will get an invite to this course to your email. So you will get asked if you want to accept the course, and it's completely optional and ungraded. And if you'd like to use this as a resource, then you can accept the invitation. And when you log in, you'll see it in your dashboard with your other registered and graded courses. So this first term success site is open for all new undergraduate students um, and post back students as well. So this is an example of what it looks like when you first log into a class. And your graded classes will also have a menu on the left, just like this, 
where you can see the syllabus, the announcements. The modules will be the weekly course content broken down by week and will display everything that's happening within that week. You will be able to go into the discussions and post an introduction and then also have other topics to respond to. You can see all of the other students that are also in the course with you um, and contact them as well through here. You can live chat, access your quizzes and exams, and also get to your media. And NetTutor will be our online tutoring resources. So this is a wonderful resource for you. Um, and the Canvas Learning Management System is a very intuitive platform that is pretty straightforward to use once you get the hang of it. We hope that this introductory tutorial was helpful in understanding the basics of navigating Canvas, and in our next tutorial we will be taking a more detailed look at how to submit assignments in Canvas. Thanks!